Hello friends, quite a lot of you have requested me going back to work in Mythomorphia by Kirby or Sam's. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to work on this beautiful page. And I'll be doing a watercolor background. So first I'm going to use some masking fluid using this one from Jackson's. I bought it on Amazon. And I'm going to use this color shaper. A tiny little tip also from Amazon to apply it. I'll quickly show you a little bit how I do it. I'm just getting it really close to the black lines. So the watercolors I'm using later won't get onto the drawing itself. So we get a very nice and crisp line between the background and the drawing. It's very easy to do this and it dries quite quickly. And once all the masking fluid is dry then you can go on adding the watercolors. I don't think this would work with a real brush. Because it does dry in this thing here and it does turn into some kind of plastic. I'll show you what it looks like when you pull it off. It is quite fun. <laughs> so I think you got the idea. I have mixed my greens and I have used my Vincent Newton Cutman watercolors and my yellow gold Kuitakis diary watercolors to get a bit of glitter. I'm going to take some paper to protect even more. So I don't want green watercolors on the snowy scene on the back side. Good. I'm going to take some clean water and I'm just going to add it to the page. Then I'm going to take my water brush, my watercolors, and just start adding it. Going to take a bit more of the clean water. As you see, it take it right up to the other part of the water, because then the watercolors will merge together without any problems at all. It does not seem like this paper really likes watercolor at all. That is a bit sad, but I think we can make it work. And don't worry if the clean water will touch the part you haven't put masking fluid on. As long as the color doesn't touch, it won't ruin anything. Make sure the water covers everything.
down here with the stones. I want a bit more of a muddy green. And slowly blend it out up into the more vibrant greens. Take a bit of that shimmery green I made. And a vibrant green as well. very sad to discover how badly this takes watercolour because Metromorphia really do take the new colours too with a lot of water very well so I did not see this coming should have tested it out I guess well we all learn from mistakes now to take some of that clean gold to get a bit of shine in the background. I'm taking my clean water to make sure it's nice and flowy. No harsh lines. I don't want that. I want a more murky green up here as well. Between the branches. I think this background will need a few layers, but that's all right. And of course, it has to dry in between layers so we don't get bleed through, which I'm a little bit afraid we might already have. But I'm crossing my fingers. Make sure to get right out onto the edge of the paper. Add a bit more water to help the colors blend together. I'm quite sure I <laughs> colored on the other side of the page there. Oops.
a lot of the murky green down here. Blend it into the brighter green with a bit of the gold. give the paper a rest or base layers dry and I'm going to add some water down on the bottom here take the murky green and build up the color even more I'm going to let the dark green travel up a bit more on the outside of the page and a damp brush just let it fade out like this same thing on the other side a wet brush a murky green travel on the outside of the page. Taking a quite damp brush, not soaking wet, to help the lines flow together. Going to do the same the crown of the tree because it got nowhere near stuck so I wanted it to be between all these branches damp brush and pull it down just a bit to help it blend and bleed into the rest of the colors. I'm sure this will be quite a fun background once I'm done. But I am very disappointed in how the paper reacts with watercolors. I was so sure this will work out beautifully, but oh well, we all learn by doing. I'll dry again and then we'll touch up on all the sparkly and vibrant bits. All dry again. Same technique. Putting water on the background. Dipping the brush into the vibrant color. And adding it on. Blending it out with damp brush. Well, this is a bit more than just damp, but it works. I'm going to touch up a little bit more here. Make 
make sure it's a nice and even gradient. Whoops, touched the tree. Won't matter too much, as it'll be dark, luckily. <laughs> Going to touch up a tiny bit on the other side. Doesn't need quite as much. But a little bit will be fine. To get a bit more of those sparkles. Not even sure if you can see it on the camera right now, but of course I'll include a little sneak peek of how it really looks from different angles. And I see I really do miss a bit of the darkness right here, so without wetting it. Oh, I forgot this piece. Whoops. <laughs> But without wetting it, I would just add a bit more of the darkness. There we go. I'll be drying it and add more gold behind her. Nice and dry again. This time I will go straight in with my brush, once I have cleaned it a bit, into my pre-mixed gold. And I'm going to add it really close to, to our lady here, like she's shining out gold. There we go, the damp brush, making sure it mixes right into the green. Which is why I added it into the green as well, so the gold would fit just fine. I think we are almost there. Just going to take a bit more of the gold. Might as well make it really sparkly. A little bit into the crown there. Okay. Without adding any more water to the brush, I'm just Fading it out really carefully. There we go. Drying time, and I'll show you the finished result. A closer look of our dry background. Now it's time to remove the masking fluid. Some people use an eraser. I just gently rub on it. And as you see, it comes straight off, just like this. It's quite fun. And I was a little bit careless. So she got a bit green on her arm, but that's just fine because that's the kind of colors I'm going to use anyway. So, to get it nice and flat and free of these wrinkles, I will put my book into pressure and then need some heavy stuff. And then it'll be just as flat as any other page. So, thank you so much for watching. Remember to give me credit if you follow this tutorial and post it anywhere. If you can't give credit, just leave a link to the video. See you next time.